If vinyl records are sourced, are made with digital files, what is the point of them? What are their purpose, their meaning? Why should we buy them? Let's discover it today. Okay guys, on my channel, under a video, popped up a comment asking reasonably what is the point of vinyl if it's digital? Meaning, I'm sure a lot of you know, current the current vinyl releases 95%, maybe less, maybe more actually, is sourced, is produced using digital files, digital music, okay? There is a digital master. So, reasonably, this person was asking, why should we buy them? Why does vinyl exist anymore? I mean, might as well, following this logic, buy streaming services, buy a CD, buy, if you want to go in physical media, buy high-res music, buy digital. Well, actually, there are four excellent reasons why you should and it's not stuff connected to nostalgia or um, analog buffs or things like that no there are actually four objective reasons why vinyl does have its sense it does have its purpose today in this century want to know more let's start with the first point let's proceed okay guys First point, the most important of all, okay? This is the main reason why you should buy vinyl. Very simple, the mastering. Now, for those of you who don't know what I mean, you have to know that when a record is produced, a file, a, a song, let's say an album, it has its own master, meaning that they do the different mixing, they put all together the different tracks, sounds, they increase things, EQ here and there, compress, uh, limit, do all the, the, the different processes, and in the end, you create the master. Because from that master, you're going to do the different copies for sale. But mainly, the main master is for crap okay for shit meaning phones small gizmos uh, streaming services not reproduced on a hi-fi system that means that and here comes in the famous loudness war everything is ultra compressed so you don't have too much dynamics you have a homogeneous output very big output big volume to compete with the other ones and to work on everything Hence, the quality is going down the drain. Obviously, in some cases, you want that effect, that lo-fi or just compressed. Especially in pop, electro-pop, it's normal. Electronic music, it's normal, okay? We, they want that. Today is like that trap. It's, it's, it's the normality. But there are a lot of productions and there are a lot of artists and a lot of albums that are done correctly, that are done nicely, already since the recording, the mixing, and the mastering. Now, if you have to do a master for Spotify, you can't do fancy things, you can't do audiophile things, you can't do high quality things. Spotify wants its master done for him, okay? So you're not gonna find anything else than Spotify on Spotify, their standards. But, if you start going towards vinyl, immediately, who is preparing the master, if things are done correctly, and usually they are, they're going to put a little more attention. It's going to be a little more careful. Uh, there is going to be an, a softer approach, okay? There's going to be less compression, a little more dynamics, a little more air, a little more overall just care and quality in all the different passages because they know that people who want to spend that much because vinyl costs now, it does have a high price, high price tag. People who have a system, meaning they want to put the record, probably sit, do something else, but there is a ritual there. There is a practice. It's not just 
running with your earbuds or doing something else, okay? Or elevator music. It's somebody that wants to focus a little bit on the music, maybe a lot. But clearly we have to always aim at the center as they are doing it and the, at the average. And the average says, I was discussing this with Pietro Giolito, for example, when I went to go and uh, visit the ma famous mastering facility in Bologna, Phonoprint. The video is mainly in Italian, but it's filled with su subtitles. Here is a link if you're interested. The links are obviously going to be in the video description. And he, also he said, clearly, when we are doing a mastering for vinyl, it's different. It's different from the other ones. You have to do it on purpose. Now, every medium should have its own mastering, okay? It's the CD, high res. In any case, vinyl has a special place. And the mastering engineer is careful when he does that, especially with the dynamics, okay? So this is the main reason why we're saying that mastering is paramount. This is the main reason why you will have more things, more stuff, more richness in the texture, in the different timbre of the instruments. Everything is going to be enhanced in the vinyl edition. Not automatically, not always. There's a lot of crap out there on vinyl, don't worry. But usually, usually there is a trend to be more respectful towards the album because the final consumer is different from the fast food consumer of, a, of the other type of music, okay? I hope this is clear. Let's proceed to the second point. Point number two. Second reason why vinyl makes sense, it's actually its analog touch, we could say. The analog distortion, yes. Because as I have presented a special video dedicated to cassettes where I record DSD, high res, high resolution music of different types on cassettes. Here is a link to that video. Because this combo is very, very cool and cheap if you're doing cassettes. But apart from that, when you get a high, good quality file, music, digital file of music, and you do a proper master and you put it on vinyl, you have that touch. It's modifying, it's coloring it, absolutely, no question. But it's doing that in a euphonic way, in an engaging way, in a pleasing way to the ears. The, everything is going to be a little more round. There are There is roll off here and there, clearly. I mean, you're, sometimes you're not having all the frequencies because it's very, probably too much frequencies in the upper and lower register. They're, they can cut a little bit here and there. But the overall result is just more engaging. It's pulling you inside. You just sense the music in a different way. And that is why also, if you're using digital, it makes sense when you transfer it in an analog, to an analog medium as vinyl. Let's proceed. Point number three, the physicality, obviously, which includes a variety of things, actually. Well, I would say, first of all, purchasing, purchasing something physical, not only touching it, but purchasing it uh, in the used market, uh, out and about in a shop, is just another experience because then you tie your memory when you purchase that. It's a completely different experience from that point instead of just clicking on your computer and storing a file somewhere in a folder, somewhere on a computer. I mean, you can't compete with that. So that's already part of the vinyl and I would say physical experience because also CDs can do that. But vinyl has something extra. In fact, part of this physicality point is also the artwork. A lot of people go crazy because you have these nice pictures, all the liner notes. You, you can sense the smell of the paper of the vinyl. You can look at it, how the, the reflections hit the surface of that black or those incredible colors of the vinyl records. It's just something mesmerizing. It's just fantastic. We audiophiles buy too many records. But I remember when to buy one record or one CD, I took ages. I had to put away my money. It was so difficult. And when you finally had it in your hands, it was just, I mean, pure bliss, paradise. Something 
rarely you can achieve again today. And these are the things clearly that happen to you that when the when you're the, when you're in the, your first years around on planet Earth, we could say, <laughs> then things change. In any case, apart from that, also we can include in the um, physicality domain the collectability. A lot of people, not me, but I understand, uh, also get these, buy these vinyl records of their favorite uh, artists just as a collector item. They don't even have a, a vinyl setup to play them back. They hope one day they'll have it or something like that. So there is a lot of things going on from the physical side. And clearly, uh, putting all together, as I said before, it's the ritual. Decide to go and get a record. Knowing that you're going to listen at least to all, at least one entire side, all the entire album. Dedicate some time to that. Take it out of the, of the sleeve. Start reading, start thinking what you're going to do. Take time for your own, for yourself. Put it on the plate. Listen all to the different noises and clearly enjoy the music. It's just a different experience, which everyone should experience uh, sooner or later because we're losing this. We are losing this. I did a video, a terrible video because the audio is, is just unbearable. In any case, it was, it was one of my first videos, but the contest is still valid. How to critically listen to music. Here is a link. Okay, let's proceed to our last point. Our last point is actually a very good meeting, even though it's not strictly connected to this. What am I talking about? Audiophile releases. Yes, for those of you who think that vinyl records are just a copycat of what you're finding on Spotify, we clearly demonstrated and told you that it's not so. But apart from that, there is a plethora, there is a lot of uh, labels, engineers, people, and audiophiles who are working to make and buy audiophile editions, meaning 100% analog. You can also have audiophile editions in digital, okay? So I don't want to mix things up. I'm just saying that high-quality editions on vinyl, especially reissues, meaning that the original recording was on tape. Hence, you have an AAA, a complete 100% analog production. And when you buy that and you try that with the proper setup, with the proper cartridge, tone arm, amplifier, blah, 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 everything clicks together. There is no turning back. Okay? Okay, guys, if you have other comments on why we should buy vinyl in this century, in this millennium, especially if it's coming from digital. I'm interested. Write them here below. We are all interested, not only me. Thank you again for watching, and remember that music is born analog. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.